Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Seth Red Olive, and it's time for another Brewer's Minute. So this week, we're looking at one card in particular, and we're talking about cards that are super important to formats. We've seen cards that absolutely dominate formats, Collected Company, Siege Rhino, and these cards are cards that, when you're constructing a deck, you need to have an answer for. If you can put it in the main deck, that's great or at least in your sideboard. They really warp the way you build your deck. And we have a new one based on the week one results of Kaladesh Standard, and that card is Smuggler's Copter. So today's Brewer's Minute is 100% about possibilities and potentials and cards we can use to deal with Smuggler's Copter. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to go through each color and talk about what answers we possibly have in each color and what ones can fit in the main deck, what ones can be in the sideboard. So we're going to have a plan no matter what color of deck we build to answer Smuggler's Copter because if we don't, the card literally was 32 out of 32 as far as the number of copies in the top eight. Uh, if we don't have an answer for this card, it is going to run us over. So before we get to the colors, we got to talk real quick about Smuggler's Copter. There's three things that stick out. First off, we got to have instants because it is a non-creature artifact until the opponent crews it. We can't trust on Ruinous Path. We can't trust on sorcery speed wrath effects we need instance to deal with smuggler's copter second it's an artifact which gives us some more possibilities things that say destroy an artifact can kill smuggler's copter no matter what state it's in and also it's evasive so we want to keep that in mind as well if we're looking for creature based answers they need to be things that can deal with a flyer so let's get to the colors first up we have red and red is probably the best color for answering smuggler's copter so when you're trying to answer a threat. You got to keep in mind that you want to answer it in the most efficient way possible. Spending five mana to kill a two mana threat isn't really a win. Like, yes, it helps, but you really want to be paying two mana or one mana to kill a two mana threat, not five mana. And that's one thing that red does really well. Harness Lightning, Fiery Temper, Lightning Axe, they're all ways to deal with Smuggler's Copter for an efficient cost. Plus, they hit the second big check mark, and that is they deal with other things as well. You might think, well, I'm just going to play Fragmentize in my main deck. That kills Smuggler's Copter. And it's true, it does. But when you have a Fragmentize in your hand, then you can lose to Depala, or you lose to a Sylvan Advocate. Harness Lightning, Fiery Temper, Lightning Axe give you the flexibility to kill Copter when you need to kill Copter, but also deal with other creatures when you don't need to kill a Copter. So these are the kind of answers you want in the main deck. Flexibility and efficient costs. As far as the sideboard in red, Weaver of Lightning is one of my favorite answers. I could even see main decking it in certain like blue-red spell archetypes. Basically, it blocks Smuggler's Copter all day, plus it pings to death things like Veteran Motorist, Toolcraft Exemplar, as you cast Instant and Sorcery. So keep that in mind. If I'm playing a red deck with a decent number of spells, Weaver of Lightning is the first card that goes in my sideboard. So good right now. As far as black, we have Essence Extraction, a little more expensive than we want, three mana to kill the two mana copter. The upside is you gain three life, which helps make up for the lack of mana efficiency. As far as main deck, Mindrack Demon can also work. I don't know if Smuggler's Copter is a reason that you're going to jam Mindrack Demon in your Esper Control deck, for example. That probably isn't the way that it'll work, but if you're choosing between Mindrack Demon and another threat, Having a flying blocker that can deal with Smuggler's Copter, like Mindrack Demon, it could kind of be the tiebreaker. As far as the sideboard, we get one janky one. Vampire Envoy <laughs> is basically a black flying wall. It doesn't attack well, but it does have the stats to block a Smuggler's Copter all day. Moving on to green, only really one main deckable answer, and that's its Kana Graft Widow. The thing with this Kana is you really need a specific deck. It's not worth playing in a mono green aggro deck that's not going to have Delirium. So green doesn't have great main deck answers at all. If you're green black Delirium, then Ishkana is a great answer and Smuggler's Copter is a reason to make sure it's in your deck. Not that it wouldn't be in your deck anyway if you're green black Delirium. The good news about green is it has a ton of sideboardable answers. Mockery of Nature works in emerge based strategies, gives you a big threat, you can emerge it, destroy the Smuggler's Copter. Natural State is one of the cleanest answers one mana instant it doesn't get any more efficient than that the problem is you lose a lot of flexibility doesn't hit sky sovereign doesn't hit creatures obviously so i could see natural state being in the sideboard but the card i really like in the sideboard is hate for flyers so plummet 
gives you the flexibility to not only deal with Smuggler's Copter at instant speed in a mana neutral way, but it also lets you kill a Archangel Avacyn, for example, any flyer for a really cheap cost. So if I'm picking between Natural State and Plummet, I'm going to go with Plummet because I think it's more flexible. That could change in the future if Artifact decks become more popular. We could even get to the point where Artifact Destruction in the main deck could be a thing, depending on what the format looks like, but we're not there yet. White has a lot of answers as well. It kind of reminds me of red with a creature kicker. So you get things like Archangel Avacyn, which is really good. Also have like Bruna and Gisela. Uh, the problem with Gisela is it dies to a lot of the same things that Smuggler's Copter dies to. So you want to be careful there that you're not playing answers that die to the hate cards that people are going to be playing because of Smuggler's Copter. The other nice thing about white is you get some pretty efficient removal. Gideon's Reproach is probably the best. Two mana, four damage to an attacking or blocking creature. So you kill the Smuggler's Copter, mana neutral. Impeccable Timing is worse than Gideon's Reproach because it's only three damage, and otherwise it's the same card. Uh, so if you need... Gideon's Reproach 5, 6, 7, 8, Impeccable Timing would be an option, but you wouldn't play it over Gideon's Reproach. And then Skywaller Shot is the opposite of Gideon's Reproach. You get to kill things that are smuggler's copter and bigger instead of smuggler's copter and smaller so if you're worried about bigger threats skywaller shot is probably better than gideon's reproach even though it's less mana efficient but i would want some number of these cards hopefully in my main deck or definitely in my sideboard if i'm building a white deck another white option is fragmentize just clean artifact or enchantment destruction still not big enough to get sky sovereign though which is a concern but it gets fleet wheel cruiser and hits more things in natural state Blue is probably the worst color for answering Smuggler's Copter. There's not a good, clean spell base answer. What you're looking at is things like Wretchcrift, which again, you really need an Emerge Base deck to make it work. Then you have like Consulate Skygate, which is this weird artifact flying defender, kind of like Vampire Envoy, a little bit cheaper and colorless, which is nice. And then Smuggler's Copter is always an answer to itself as well. So keep in mind, as long as you have some number of creatures, you can always just play your own Smuggler's Copters to deal with your opponent smuggler's copters so those are some ideas for beating smuggler's copter in standard but the main point of all this is as you're brewing as you're building decks for your fnm make sure to keep smuggler's copter in mind at least until after the pro tour maybe things will change but right now going to your fnm you need to have some number of answers in your sideboard and maybe even your main deck to deal with smuggler's copter or you're going to lose to it so switch up your sideboard slots put in some of these cards depending on your colors and what archetype you're playing but you need to have an answer in one way or another and if you can think of any more good answers that i left off the list make sure to let me know in the comments because we are going to be answering smuggler's copter on against the odds on budget magic because these are things that I'm thinking about in my deck building process as well so I'm going to be taking my own advice here and making sure I have these cards in my deck to deal with smuggler's copter anyway that's been our brewers minute for this week thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon